Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Crimson Raven, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, to the Raven's Nest Estate. The main playthrough, and today, as I had predicted, last video triggered the appearance of the fulminating prophet. And we're gonna go take care of him right now. I want him out of our lives right away. So, I've assembled a team here in order to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Taking... Oh, I might have made a mistake here. I don't think a Hellmaster can be a frontline here. Hmm. Because my goal was to have him mark for the other two to do as much damage as possible to him, but he's going to end up at the front after the point blank shot. So I can't rush. Who else has a mark? Rock and Ryan has a mark, I think. We're going to make a, a last second replacement here. Last second substitution. Rock and Ryan. Okay. So taking point, we have Liquid Monkey, the Highwayman. I've geared him up mostly as a as a frontline kind of dude, but he has a point blank shot, and the pistol shot, as well as the riposte, which is going to be very useful. Second rank, Rockin' Ryan, the Bounty Hunter. He's got... Yeah, I, I do have a mark equipped for him. It's going to be really useful. The Prophet cannot really be moved around, so the move skill chance is useless. So I'd rather just have more damage with him. Yep. So, come hither is not going to be... Here, I'm going to use Flashbang, Uppercut, so double stun plus the mark, and a lot of damage. Then again, finish him could be really useful here. I'm going to go... F no, actually, to be able to use finish him, I need a stun from another source, which I don't really have. Actually, Snugs has a stun. I'm not going to use the Sacred Scroll so that I can use Finish Him. Okay, so let's have... Let's remove the Uppercut, take Finish Him. Like that. And Snugs, instead of the Sacred Scroll, I shall give her... I'm just going to give her the Book of Sanity, just reduce the stress. That'll do. Okay, so, third rank, Halfix the Grave Robber. I think his ma his name is already very well made on his series. He just rains destruction and daggers mostly. Daggers which make more damage versus mark. It's it's a good old mark composition. I think you guys have figured that one out by now. And at the back, obscene snugs, our original healer is going to be the first healer to hit level 5. Because I'm expecting all of these guys to hit level 5, except maybe for Ryan, but even then, it's a boss fight. So these four will be my very first team to reach level 5. I thought of bringing Devil Triple Z because the Iron Swan could reach a Prophet at the back, but she's a really bad ruins phobe, so I'd rather not do that. She's just, you know, Devil Triple Z is just gonna, is just gonna freak out on me if I do that. Anyway, let's just get some provisions. This is the fulminating prophet, and uh, to that is a reference to his skill that is called fulminate, which means blight, a lot of blight. 
I'm bringing a max stack of anti-venom, and I'm gonna be carrying it until I reach the boss. I need these. Good. Couple keys, a couple shovels. Three shovels, that should do. Uh, let's bring in a couple bandages. I cannot over-prepare for this. Anyway. Let's bring four meals, just in case. Two medicinal herbs and a bunch of torches. Twelve torches will do. This is not a money run. This is not a heirloom run. Although, this run is supposed to give me some busts, which I really need for my stagecoach upgrade. Is that everything? Holy water, perhaps? I'll bring four holy waters because they give me blight resistance. So I'll take these right before the boss fight as well. So I'm going to beeline raving creature for the Prophet. I'm going to beeline so for the Prophet. I'm not going to touch any curios. I'm not going to grab any treasure at all. I'm just beelining for him right away. Then, I'll, after that, I will, you know, explore and spend my supplies and try to make this run profitable. But unless, like, no. The echoes of his oh, man, okay, that is not a fun map. Actually, it is kind of a fun map because of how spread out it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four, five. One, two, three. So the boss is there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's five rooms away. That is the only spot that is five rooms away. So the boss is all the way to the northeast. Let's make a beeline for it, and then we'll come back if we're still alive. I just walked into a trap that I knew was there, but luckily, Liquid Monkey compensated for me and dodged it. Let's grab this bag. I can, yeah, I can grab some stuff, just not all of it, you know. Okay, we got a little fight on our hands here. Kill the maggots! Rock and Ryan is buff right now. Look at that! 30 dodge, 5 protection, 10 speed. 10 speed, that is gigantic. Flashing daggers! Oh, not dead. Close, but not dead. Uh, yeah, sure. Point blank, just annihilate this thing. Rave nibble. Misses. And I'm going to judge you. You don't go. With impunity. And then pick to the face Begone, for 21 pick. and the crit. Did that, did that sting? Yeah, I think it did. So clearly I fixed. You. Way to go with the or euphemisms. A trick of the light? I'm going to keep the torch as lit up as I can. Mostly because I have the sun cloak equipped on somebody. Ryan has the sun cloak. Got two curios. That's an extra torch. I can grab that. Ah! Thank you. I was like, well, where the fuck's my torch? <laughs> Hello, busts. I needed busts. That is quite nice. Moving on. We got a fight in this next hallway. Okay. Uh, yeah. Torch it up. I, I'm not gonna fight this one in the dark. Flashing daggers. The nine and ten. Quite nice. Point blank. For seventeen. Stressful incantation on Halfix. He doesn't dodge it. Minor damage, though. Can handle that for sure. Let's judge the middle one, just kill him, get rid of him already. And Ryan can finish off the first one. Give them no quarter. Throw dagger. A 23 and a crit again. So much damage. 
And I this haven't even marked anyone yet. Success. There you go, eat one food. And uh, get rid of that trap for me, because you're more than qualified to do it. Plus you have one stress. Just one. Item had no effect. That can stack up. Light is fully back up. This is an empty room. No scouting. Okay, we're going north. Hunger. Eat. Good. That is a buff. Let's give it to... Halfix. 20% damage on tilt camp. Now I'm definitely not camping before the boss fight. Just because of that. Halfix is gonna hit like a truck. Scouting. Oh, that is nice. Yep, that's the boss fight coming up. Two Karyos and a uh, hallway fight. I believe we can handle that. Yeah, we got plenty of torches still. Oh, big bastard. That might go very wrong, though. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the front guy as fast as we can. Nine damage. I'm going to mark the big bastard. Ren for the old gods. Two points of damage and a bit of bleeding. Point blank. Destroyed. There we go. And I'm gonna stun the big bastard. Very, very nicely done. Dash forward. Impressive. Crit. 14 and the repost. Throw a dagger, crit for 20 because of the mark. Ryan's gonna be able to finish him off. Rending, misses, and gets killed. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Perfect. Textbook fight for this comp here. That is exactly what we wanted. Ryan, you could eat up a bit before we go in there. And you could even cinch that up. And uh, let's get rid of that stress as well. We have the items, we might as well use them. Also, holy water for everyone. Yep, that's a fair amount of resistance for at least the first three turns. The mad man there we go, the there madman lies there. Spouting his endless drivel. He has prophesied my end. Who has the highest dodge between Liquid Monkey and Ryan? Ryan has the highest dodge here. Halfix has really high dodge as well. I'm pretty damn sure that I do not want Snugs to be taking that hit. Yeah, she has no dodge. So Halfix is actually going to Poison the Prophet, or th just throw a dagger, or maybe just even attack a pew. I could attack a pew. Try to get him a bit closer, because if we get him stunned, I want him to be in range for finish him, which is rank 3. So let's attack the, num the, the first pew, which has the least health. And uh, I'm going to keep attacking. There we go. 14. And the Snugs, you move forward by one. Like that. Liquid Monkey. Point blank on the pew. Get rid of it. Eye on you. That's a stress attack, isn't it? Yes. And a stun. Oh, it was a stun. Rubble of Ruin. Ooh, that hurt. Calamitous Prognostication. A vision, something falling. I am quite sure I do not want to be there anymore. I should have taken the fucking toxin trickery. I made a mistake. I most definitely made a mistake. Move forward. Yeah, I have to. You just have to move forward. And I'm going to... Can I stab that fucker? I can. For 15. And then, uh, heal you. For ten points mitigated. Mark the fucker. 
Let's start bringing him down. Eye on you. Rubble of ruin. Ow. Calamitous. I don't stab back with that? God damn it. Okay. Crumbling earth, stone, and blood. Throw dagger. 33 points of damage with the crit. That feels good, man. Okay, let us uh, invert the rolls here. Because I need, I need Liquid Monkey to start shooting. Fulminate. That was why I brought the frickin' anti-venoms. Let's crank up the damage in him. Rubble of Ruin, that's Death's Door for Ryan. Crit Repost. Very nice. Oh, fuck. He knows, he knows. Keep throwing daggers. You get an anti-venom, and you start shooting. 13 points of damage, he's at 43. We could do this. Get you off Death's Door. Real 11. Ax him for 10. Fulminating. Rubble of Ruin. Dodged it. Okay. Priority healing is going to be Ryan and Hellfix. Keep. Yeah, throw daggers. We just have to keep damaging him as much as possible. You are going to take an anti-venom, and then you're going to mark the bastard. We have to kill him. Take an anti-venom and shoot him in the face. For nine. Stun him. He resisted. Shit. I was hoping for a stun here. I was really hoping for a stun here. Rubble of Ruin hits both of them. None of them are poisoned right now. We can do this. Prognostication on Liquid Monkey. He's still not in this door. That's fine. He's the one I want to get hit right now. Shoot him in the face. Finish him. Crit for 25. He is no more. But holy shit, we are not in a good way. Let's grab all of that crap. I'm going to continue adventuring. But some of some of that shit has to okay. Gathered close. Let's feast. To start with. That's good. Companionship. Then what do we have? Clean gun. Oh, somebody's sick, isn't they? No, nobody's sick. I thought I had yeah. We made it with minimal stress damage though. We can just uh Focus on wound care. Sanctuary. Let's prevent that ambush. And I think that is all the respite we have. Yeah, that is all the respite we have. Uh, let's eat the food. We, we need the health. We just need the health. I... What is going on? Why can I not dismiss? Why can I not dismiss the... the... I want to dismiss the bubbles. It's not letting me anymore. Like, whenever I'm clicking to get rid of the bubbles, it's just not working. And this annoys the crap out of me. Ah! There we go. That's the thing. Save the changes. Get back into the game. The match is now that we've slept, a blazing let's go star back. Is born. And start grabbing some stuff. I see two treasure rooms there. That is pretty much my objective. I just want to go back, grab these two treasure rooms, and then I think I can, I can call it quits. And even if I just grab one, it'll be just fine. 
Should I still go for that curio down there? It's tempting. Well, right now we're all out of food. Let's not forget that. Hmm. No, I'm being a greedy bastard right now. You know what? I'm I'm out of food. I'm completely out of food, so I'm I'm just gonna call it quits. I'm just gonna call it quits. We destroyed the fulminating prophet. We still made some profit from killing a pew. We made a good amount of busts. And um I believe enough busts and crests to be in a, to be able to uh, upgrade our stagecoach. Everyone reaches level five. Snugs is now a cove tactician. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. So we got some old school people making it up to level five first. Halfix is more of a newcomer, but the other three, I believe, were part of, like, the original five characters? I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that's about it. Experience you recruits. Level three. So we're gonna see... Glory. We're gonna start seeing some level domain. three recruits pop it's up here. End. That's what I want. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Because it's really, really, really helping me. And as for me, I'm Crimson Raven. I'll see you.